Well, it is 7 hours and 15 minutes into the 17th day of April 2021. Uh, there wasn't, I didn't vlog at all uh, yesterday on the 16th, I, I, I think. I really can't remember because, once again, the days are kind of morphing together. There's not really a separation between the days. Uh, we are entering into, where I'm in, in Ontario, we're entering into our another lockdown, another 30 days. This is more severe than the last one. Uh, the doctors who are at, like, like Fauci and the WHO and stuff like that, they're going to go down in history along the lines of Joseph Mengele because they're only experimenting on people. People don't seem to understand there are these so-called woke liberals who aren't really woke, as I said before. You, you're woke, but you may not be necessarily woke out of the dream or or, or, or anything at all. Right now, you're woke simply into another nightmare. They also don't seem, don't seem to understand that there is racism on all different levels and all around the world. It's not confined simply to black and white. The black and white paradigm is simply a fa it's fake. It's not real. Because the situation of slavery goes on all along, all along the world, and there is still slavery today. Where do you think? Where do you think you get your avocados from? Today, the slave owner isn't one one evil guy, and so, so to speak. The, the the slave master today is the government, the socialist government, the left leaning governments are are slave masters. It's about slavery. This is what the whole thing is. This is what the UN is about. The UN is its own slave. It, it, it enforces a, a payment to be made by all these different nations who are all social left-leaning. And then you have the unions involved in there. And for those who think you're in unions, you say, oh, I'm not, don't worry, I'm not a Freemason. I'm part of a union. Well, the unions historically were all part of the Masonic organization. They were all Masonic in their own, in their own rights. Uh, because this is what the Masons were. The Masons were a guild for stonemasons, and they hid a lot of their, they hid a large chunk of their magic, and the works that they're doing inside the guild. So the guilds are are actually, if you want to call them, they are masonic. They're and it does not use the term masonic because that's not really the right term. They're basically Kabbalah. This is what this is. Europe has been amassed in Kabbalah from the papacy on down. The beginning of the papacy at 1000 AD is the entrance of of Kabbalah into the west into Western Europe, and this is what defines Western Europe is Kabbalah. This is the association with what they call the so-called Jews, who aren't really Jews. And the thing that you got to remember that the Jews themselves are divided into many different groups and different sects, uh, each pulling off of Kabbalah in one way or another. And they're not fundamentally, they're not Judaic. So, oh, this is a Judaica. Well, no, it's not Judaica. It, these are the Canaanites. These are the children of Jezebel who are putting on a mask and pretending to be Judaica. The reality is they're not Judaica. They're Canaanites. And they have the gods of, the gods of Canaan. They have uh, Baphomet. They have, and they have Baal. These are their gods, and their gods are physical. They, they're based on sexual behavior. And this is why you see, even with the UN involved in Israel, transporting girls around for different diplomats. This is, this is why it was Epstein who was, you know, uh, publicly executed. The, the measure was that you're, we're going to do what we're going to do, and uh, there's nothing you can do to stop it. You, you think you're safe in jail? You think you're safe away from us? You, you can hide from us? Nope. Even in jail, even under federal guard, uh, they got to Epstein. That's what Epstein was about. A large chunk of these these public suicides are murders. They 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 have the signature of these murders that are done for ritual purposes. Uh, there's a whole history of this, but again, most people aren't going to go do the background work. They're not going to do the history, and they're not going to do the reading that's sort of required. Because at a minimum now, if you just do the dos if you just follow the route for Dostoevsky, which describes everything that's going on now, uh, you're looking at about two and a half years worth of reading, because these people weren't—they didn't write small. 
they really put in a lot. There's a lot there within Dostoevsky, so it's not a simple read. Uh, but he put a lot of work that really describes things. And, and, and you know, you have Lionel LeBron talking about people being idiots and morons. Well, uh, he comes at it from the point of view of uh, an insult. These are derogatory terms. But what happens is that Dostoevsky, if you use the term idiot and moron in the in reference to Dostoevsky, he's actually ter- talking about a personal characteristic that's par- actually part of the personality, that's part of the character of the person you're talking about. And it is not a derogatory term, but actually it is a progressive term that determines people who are fundamentally defective. And the belief within the so what's going on now, a large chunk of these so-called deaths uh, are really their, their euthanasia. This is the eugenics program 2.0 uh, coming back again. The people who were involved were the people who were involved in the beginning. George Soros was a Nazi. He may have been of, of Jewish origin, but he himself didn't believe anything. And so he became a Nazi. You look, go look up back at Warner Brothers. There's a brother. Uh, uh, there's a Warner brother called Jack. Well, he used to walk around in a Nazi uniform all the time. The, you, you learn about the, the 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 hydrogen model of the atom. Look at the Bohr model of the atom. Well, do you know that Neil, uh, Niels Bohr, the, the the everyone that talking about, he was a Nazi as well. The American Space Program, all of NASA, was founded by a Nazi, uh, Warner von Braun. He's the he's the creator of the Atlas program, the, the the rockets to the moon, the moon landing. It was all this one guy, and they were all Nazis. So the history of Nazis in the United States and around the world are cross all lines. In other words, no group can really say, "Oh, we were separate from the Nazis." Cause everybody got involved, and they got involved again for for their own selfish reasons. They had their own reasons for why they were getting involved. And but this is this is what the reality is today and, and you have to work through this reality. But the thing is is that uh, what's happening now with uh, Doug Ford and again this, this, these choices, he's he's making the argument there is no more there is no more conservative or Republican that you can vote for that you can actually trust. Because they can't control the liberals who are going out of their minds with this. And it's because the liberals have organized calling groups, and they're they're calling in crank calls. They're, 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 these these are people who are calling in fires. Not really any fires. They're calling nine one one on non emergency. They're trying. They're simply going out of their mind. They're doing what the liberal does in terms of being triggered, and they push and they push and they push until everyone walks away from them or gives in. But there's never going to be an end to it because they're never. These people are never happy. They don't know happiness. And you know, we talk about this on uh, LinkedIn. Uh, we have people who are following talking about happiness. Happiness is an elusive thing because we never are satisfied. If you if you are never happy what to, with what you have, you will never have happiness. Pride is not happiness. Self-esteem is not happiness. Yet these are today's morals. These are today's characteristics that are considered to be high-valued characteristics of being selfish, self-esteem, self-centered, misogynistic. These are all good things. But then again, we're living in a time, as Lionel LeBron says, where morality is relative. So if morality is relative, why not, uh, uh, you know, traffic in children? It's, you know, it's profitable. You know, moral morality is relative. We can't really talk about morality. So, well, well, well there you go. Well, since we are vlogging on the scooter once again, 
And the scooter vloggers are going to be isolated to themselves to the, on their own particular uh, vlog. Uh, well, it is 23 hours and 15 minutes into the 17th day of April, 2021. And it is appropriate to uh, comment here as we begin our YouTube stroll. Uh, have some junk food. <laughs> Doing my junk food thing. Here we go. That's my junk food thing. Uh, I got some iced tea here. Uh, a milk tea. The milk tea is actually the meal itself uh, in terms of the nutrients. Uh, that's kind of just a snack portion of it. Uh, I'm going on to the YouTube stroll. Uh, I'm going to sort of chew everything up. That's what I'm looking at now. I've got my big, my, uh, uh, my, uh, media room the uh, theater screen I'm looking at. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Yowie vlogs and sort of see what they've got going. I know they've got something I haven't watched for a couple of days, so the, tonight's gonna be a bit of a binge watch. Uh, I do have meditation early in the morning. Uh, at my parents' house, we have the services that I watch, because they, but they also... See what happens? Med meditation occurs during the services, uh, and so uh, here we go. We've got uh, something good to sort of uh, get going, and I sort of will see if this actually uh, causes any particular issues in terms of uh, copyright, it's, because there's always an issue sometimes of. Uh, Where is that mouse that you found? Whoa, what's that? Things not. Oh, six? You get four more. I have another boy. Not pause in the way pause. And that means there's a problem. That's what it was. There's a problem going in, so I had to get out of it, and uh, this should present, uh, should re reduce the problem. Should have fixed fixed it up. So let's see if it does that. So it should have done, but shouldn't actually does. They're two totally different things. So let's see if it fixes it up. Where is that mouse site? There it is. The issue is is that when the uh, when it first pops up, the the browser doesn't respond, and I've got my pause button right here, and the pause doesn't buzz button doesn't work. So now I've paused it, and everything's a okay. So uh, on we've got two Yali vlogs. We'll go over to our, it's our life. Yeah, they've got something new on there. So uh, uh, it looks like uh, we're gonna have a full load going. You know, is from uh, Yali vlogs to it's our life. From there, we go to the Leroy's. From the Leroy's, we go to our family nest. And then from our family nest, we head on over to um, uh, Family Five Logs, and then from there, uh, we'll check up on Clintus and see how he's doing, what he's doing. So, anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna leave that here for now. That's our conversation as we enter into yet another lockdown in Ontario. Ontario, the large open air prison. <laughs> the warden is Doug Ford. And I think this is this is going to be the end of the conservatives. This is the just the way it was with Donald Trump. The is now the end of the Republicans. There are no, there are going to, in terms of government, the only options that are going to be left are simply the liberals, and it's a really bad situation from there on down. As 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 much as we don't like what's happening with Doug Ford, uh, he's not going to get elected again. He's no conservative is going to of his caliber in terms of. Leaving people alone, are we ever going to step into power again? Which means the liberals, who are basically idiots, and I'm using the term not in terms of a derogatory, but in the sense of uh, Dostoevsky, in terms of, also in terms of left hand path. And this Lionel LeBron doesn't understand the left is on the left because they're part of the left hand path, and openly so, they openly profess no morality. Or what they call alternative morality. That's left-hand path. Uh, so they're appropriately where they are. They are, they are appropriately idiots. They are appropriately left-hand path. They're appropriately left. Um, 
be right now and any pretense of morality is gone. So it doesn't matter what, what you do. There is, is no law. It's about power and force. And they're going to try to push their power and force as much as they possibly can. Welcome to Eugenics 2.0.